Hi, third graders. Uh, today in math, we're going to continue with our work on fractions. We're starting a new topic, B. And we're looking at unit fractions and their relation to the whole. Our lesson today is lesson five, and we are going to partition a whole into equal parts and define the equal parts to identify the unit fraction numerically. So first of all, what is a unit fraction? Think of the word unit. A unit fraction is a fraction where the numerator is one, for example, one half, one third, one fourth, and so on, one fifth. So focus on the word unit because you might get, there might be a little bit of confusion with fractional unit. What's a fractional unit? It's the unit of a fraction. It names the equal parts of the whole. So when you're thinking, so to avoid confusion, when you're thinking of a unit fraction, focus on the word unit, which is one, and you're looking at a fraction with numerator one. When you see fractional unit, focus on the word fraction. In how many parts has the whole been uh, divided into? All right, so we're looking at fractional units and shaded fractions. What is the fractional unit here? So in Think, focus on the word fractional. In how many parts have I divided the whole? Into three parts. So we're, the fractional unit is thirds. How many of these thirds are shaded? Okay, what is the fraction that is shaded? I can see two. So two thirds are shaded. Let's go on. Uh, here we have a square. What is the fractional, uh, sorry, a rectangle? What is the fractional unit? In how many parts have I partitioned or divided the whole. I can count them, one, two, three, four. So I have four parts and the fractional unit is fourths. How many of these fourths are shaded? I can count them, one, two, three, three fourths are shaded. Again, I have another rectangle. Um, in how many equal parts did I divide this rectangle? So what is the fractional unit? I can count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. How many of these are shaded? Five, six are shaded. And again, um, here it's hard to count. Um, so what is the fractional unit here? Let's count, two, four, six. I think they are tenths. I think I, I partitioned into 10 equal parts. How many are shaded? Let's see, one, two, three, four. I think they're two, four, seven tenths. Yes, seven tenths. And the last one, in how many uh, parts did I divide my circle? How many equal parts? There are eight parts, so the fractional unit is eighths. How many of these are shaded? One, two, three, four, five eighths are shaded. So I hope you understand what a fractional unit is. Think of the fraction and see how many equal parts the whole has been divided into. Let's look at this application problem. Ms. Brown cut a six meter rope into three equal sized pieces to make jump ropes. Mr. Ware cut a five meter rope into three equal sized pieces to make jump ropes. Which class has longer jump ropes? All right, so first of all, um, even in a word problem, try to make a movie in your head. So we have two teachers and they have some rope and they're cutting it to make jump ropes, okay? Miss Brown has a six meter rope and she's cutting it into three equal pieces. Mr. Ware has a five meter rope and he's cutting it into three equal pieces. So we can underline the important information. Six meter rope in three equal pieces five meter rope into three equal pieces. And the question is, which class has longer jump ropes? Now, let's draw a model because that can help us think. So we can draw a tape diagram to represent the rope, which in the first case, in Miss Brown's case, is six meters. And then Mr. Ware's rope, with another tape diagram, is five meters long. In both cases, they are cutting it into three equal parts. So, which class has longer jump ropes? Miss Brown's class or Mr. Ware's class? Think about it. You can pause the video if you want to think about it a little bit. 
of course, if you said Miss Brown's class, you're right because the jump the jump ropes are longer in Miss Brown Miss Brown's class because um, the original rope she started with a longer rope, so they both cut three equal parts. It's like if you have uh, a cake and you cut it into four equal parts. If the cake is bigger, those four slices will be bigger. If the cake is smaller, the four slices will be small. Okay, an extension. How long are the jump ropes in Ms. Brown's class? This is pretty easy. If the original, the rope that she started with, with was six meters and she's cutting it into three equal parts, you divide six by three and you get two. So each jump rope is two meters long. Okay, let's get a little bit of practice. Uh, try to answer the questions. Uh, you can pause the video and answer the questions before I give you the answers. All right, what is the name of this shape? This is pretty easy. It's a circle. How many equal parts are there? Two. So the fractional unit is halves. There's two equal parts, fractional unit. How many parts have I divided it into? Uh, two, so it's halves. What's the name of each unit? One half. What fraction is shaded? So each part is one half. What fraction is shaded? One half. This is the unit fraction because the numerator is one. I'm taking one of the parts I divided the whole into. Just like any number, we can write one half in many ways. All right, so if I, I write it with one and then the word half, that's called the unit form. And this is the fraction form, one over two, where there's the number above, the numerator, the fraction line, and the number below, the denominator. Let's play, play a game, name the fraction. Look at this shape. What fraction is shaded? One half. Look at this shape. This is a little bit, I'll give you some more time to count how many parts. What's the fraction shaded? So think how many parts did I divide the whole into? That's the fractional unit. How many parts are shaded? That's the fraction. And I have a unit fraction because the numerator is one, one tenth. Again, what fraction is shaded? There are six parts, so that's the denominator, and five are shaded, so five, six. Remember, the denominator shows how many parts I divided the whole into. The numerator, numerator shows how many I'm considering. So in this case, how many are shaded? And the last one, I have five parts, and four of those are shaded, so four, Okay, tricky question. Does this shape have equal parts? Hmm, look carefully. Are all these, is this the same as this? Hmm, it kind of looks like it's, um, it's not a rectangle. It looks a little bit like a trapezoid. It almost looks like a rectangle. So they're not all the same. The, the parts are not all the same. They're not equal parts. So if the parts are not equal, can we call these fourths? No, we can't, because we can only talk about a fraction when we divide the whole into equal parts. If the parts are not equal, we're not talking about fractions. So these are not fourths. They're not four equal parts. This is going to be your assignment for today. Um, you have uh, three slides. Uh, on this slide and on the next one, you have to look at these shapes and then fill in these boxes. So total number of equal parts. So you have to see this shape. How many parts was it uh, divided into? One, two. So you will write two in this box. Then here it says total, total number of equal equal parts shaded. So you have to look at how many parts are shaded, one, so you will write one. Then you have to write the fraction in unit form. So this shaded part is what fraction? It's one half because I divided the 
whole in two parts. I shade it in one, this is one half. In unit form, I will write the number one and then I will write half in words. And the fraction form, I will write one over two. So you will write one fraction line two. You will do the same with all of these shapes. So let's do another one together. Total number of equal parts, you count. This is the whole shape, it's a rectangle. How many parts uh, was it partitioned into? One, two, three, so I have three parts. That means that the uh, fractional unit is thirds, okay? Three parts. How many parts are shaded? One part, so I have one third. One third is the fraction shaded. I write it in unit form and in fraction form. And you do the same for all of these shapes. Here we have stranger shapes just to get used to um, different kinds of shapes, but the, the you have to do the same kind of thing. So again, look at this shape. It's a little bit like a donut. And so you have one part, it's a donut divided in, into two parts, total number of parts, two, and the shaded parts, and so on. So you have different kinds of shapes to get different practice. Um, here you have three problems. So num problem number two, problem number three, problem number four. Mm, here you have to decide if this has been uh, divided into uh, equal parts. So read the problem. Andre's mom baked uh, two cakes and he cut it into parts for himself and for his friends. You have to say if he divided it into equal parts or not. And, and then there's two more problems all related to, I mean, it's always the same problem divided into parts. It's always Andre's uh, mom who baked two cakes for his birthday and he has to cut equal slices for himself and for his friends. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to your teachers. Um, I hope you're enjoying this, um, this unit on fractions.